Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we're doing portfolio risk management. This may have looked your topic start kia tha. We talked about cap em. So Ajam uski thodi si continuation me baat karenge. We'll put uh, some illustration on it. So I requested you to do uh, some research on it. So hope you have done it. If still you haven't done it, I'll strongly appreciate it. Thoda sa zara spend time kare. See what's being done in your organization or ya jis pe aapka project kare hai ya research kare hai. But jo or journally. But make sure. You see the practical part of that. About the manager of the company, you have to use companies extensively. Even investors, companies, CFOs, could be some algorithm things to see what's happening, how they are performing in their area. Capum formula is used to calculating the expected returns of an asset. Mean or just we have to expect return. So CAPM ki bhi utility usi mein aati hai. It is based on the idea of systematic risk. Ke hume wo risk jo market ka hai uske risk ke base pe what return we are going to get. That investor need to be compensated because ye diversify nahi ho sakta, not diversifiable hai. So we have to see is pe hume kya return mil raha hai. A risk premium is the rate of return greater than the risk free rate. RF se upar jo aapko return market deti hai, that is the risk premium. When investing, investor desire a higher risk premium when taking more risk investment. Logical si baat hai, ke hum agar raza risk le rahe hai, toh phir hume risk premium milna chahiye. Zada jitna lete jahe, utna premium should increase. Capm formula and calculation, very important. Maybe you have seen it too, take it as an opportunity to learn it, revive it because that's very important. Expected return is risk-free rate. Then we have beta times the expected returns of market minus the RF. So expected return, risk-free rate or beta which is sensitivity gauge and risk premium we multiply it. So we get that our portfolio ka investment ka expected return kya hona chahiye. Let's calculate expected return using CAPM. Suppose that following information about stock is known. We have data available. Hai. Ye New York Stock Exchange pe listed. We can do any example Pakistan. Ki bhi kar sakte hai, but we give you international examples so that your horizon and learning curve is more wider. But we local ki bhi baat saath saath de hai. In this case, this stock is New York Stock Exchange pe listed. Hai, uska data is available. Hai. Current yield jo hai US ki 10 years to a year ki stands at 2.5% and now you should know ki when we say US treasury it is risk free rate. Average excess return jo historically in the stock market mein dekha hai that is 7.5. The beta for stock is 1.25. 1.25 ka kya matlab hai ki humari jo sensitivity hai wo market se thodi zyada hai yani humari usse volatility Zada. Let's break down the answer using the formula in article. Expected return Mara Job Niklega wo kaise nikal rega. We plug in the figures in the formula we have just learned. 2.5 risk free semne start kiya. Took our beta multiplied by risk premium. Is case may have risk premium de diya tha. Kai the wapko risk premium ni dega market ka return de dega. For example, okay, market ka return 10. Hai. So, you can get 10 market minus RF 7.5. Here, it premium. So, make sure you look at the terms carefully. Especially when you have an exam, you will have 7.5 premium. So, the answer is that if you have MCQ question, then you will have to get the answer. 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 So, this you will have to get the answer. Importantly, you will have to get Given data, kis form mein hai? RF or RM diya hai, ya risk premium hi direct calculated diya hai. To make sure you carefully see and use the right data. So, this se me drive ho gaya ke that is 11.9% is return based on the or ye expected return hai. Using CAPM to build the portfolio is supposed to help investor manage their risk. Ke jitna risk lena chaate hain, uske accordingly iski application isme hume help out kar deti. If investor is able to use CAPM to perfectly optimize a portfolio return to risk, it will exist on a curve called efficient frontier as shown in the following graph. Abhi hum isko graphically bhi dekhte hain ki CAPM ki through iski reflection kya hogi. So 
कैपिटल मार्केट की लाइन आपने ड्रॉ की थी जो हमने ये पहले भी सी में भी देखी थी जब हम इसको कैलकुलेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखेंगे सो दिस इज वन द आइडियल पोर्टफोलियो यू कैन सी हेयर इट इज द वन दैट इज ड्राइव गिविंग अस द हाइएस्ट लेवल ऑफ रिटर्न गिवन द एक्सपेक्टेड रिस्क वी आर गोइंग टू टेक तो हम फार्मूला से भी इसको देख सकते हैं ग्राफिकली टेबल से भी हम इसको एक्सट्रैक्ट कर सकते हैं ड्रॉ कर सकते हैं तो द ग्राफ शो हाउ द ग्रेटर एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न रिक्वायर ग्रेटर एक्सपेक्टेड रिस्क ये आप नॉर्मल ट्रेंड है हम ये ग्राफ डिफरेंट लाइंस के लिए देख चुके हैं तो आप यू आर मोर फेमिलियर विद इट बट वी एज अ नॉर्मल प्रोसीजर हमें ये बताना होता है कि जो वट आर वट इज एक्स एक्स इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग वट इज वाई एक्स इज तो लॉजिक ये है कि हायर द रिस्क हायर द रिटर्न मॉडर्न पोर्टफोलियो थे सजेस्ट दैट स्टार्टिंग विद रिस्क फ्री रेट द एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न ऑफ पोर्टफोलियो इंक्रीज एज द रिस्क तो जैसे जैसे वो रिस्क लेवल आप बढ़ाते रहते हैं तो एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न आपका बढ़ता रहता है और कैप एम से यू कैन कैलकुलेट एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम थैंक यू